Hi, welcome to Sociology 226. I'm Dr. Thomas Abrams. In this video, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to outline the structure, expectations, and assignments for Soci 226. Let's do it. I've designed this course in three major chunks. First, we have classical theories of society. Secondly, we have the consolidation of modern social theory. And finally, we have critical perspectives on the sociological project. The first part of this course deals with the big three sociological thinkers, Karl Marx, Emil Durkheim, and Max Weber. To these three, I've added a fourth figure, W.E.B. Du Bois, who is often referred to as the forgotten forefather of sociology. Du Bois' sociology of race is still pertinent to this day. In section two of the course, we deal with modern sociological thought, most notably the work of Talcott Parsons, Irving Goffman, and Harold Garfinkel. If you do criminology, you've probably heard of these guys. Here I want to look to how sociology became an academic discipline, looking mostly at the American context. And then finally, critical perspectives on the sociological project. Classical and contemporary sociology isn't very diverse. In section three, I want to look at critical perspectives on the sociological project. Here, I want to think about the people who are left out of that picture of what social life looks like. We're going to look to, first, French historian and philosopher Michel Foucault, and black feminist theorist Patricia Hill Collins. These people will be very critical of the restricted set of authors producing sociology and also the way they analyze social life itself. So what do you have to do every week? I've divided each week's content into two videos. The first one is introductory, designed to help you read an individual sociologist's work. After that, you do the readings. In the next video, I'll take two or three concepts found in those readings and explore them. I'm also going to pose a question that you're going to answer in two paragraphs. I post all the videos to YouTube as well, in case that makes it easier for you to watch them. So where do you find the readings? I don't like assigning textbooks and you don't like buying them. For that reason, everything is available free of charge on OnCue. Considering the cost of textbooks, that's like me giving you 67 cans of White Claw for free. Let's talk about the assignments. I've already told you about the weekly submissions. Each of these submissions is grade out of 10, and you get the best seven of nine marks if you do them all. Together, these amount to half your course grade. They are due the Tuesday, the week after the video is released at 5 p.m. Save marks, that's due on Wednesday because of the holiday. I have intentionally started things a week ahead so you can get your course components done earlier and move on with your lives. There are two other course components. There are two comparative paper assignments where you take two thinkers and contrast their ideas. Don't worry, I'll give you a list of topics and you will make an argument based on them. One is due October 8th, the other December 3rd. You can find more details in the syllabus. Finally, I'd like to talk about accessibility. I'm committed to providing a barrier-free learning environment. This is an ongoing dialogue in what I call active accessibility. This means eliminating barriers to education before we encounter them, rather than after the fact. Each week I give you a full transcript of whatever I'm going to say, and I give you every one of the PowerPoints with that transcript embedded in them. Some of us learn by watching, some of us learn by reading, some of us learn by listening. I'm committed to making 226 and every other course I teach as barrier-free as possible. That's all I have to tell you right now. Next up, we're going to talk about Karl Marx, and you'll read his Economic and Philosophic Manuscripts of 1844. Talk to you then.